All right, so let's clean this up a bit. I'm just going to change this back to star so that we can retrieve uh, every single column. I'm just going to run that just to make sure nothing's broken. And so till now, we've been retrieving every single entry in the table. And that's because we've provided no filter criteria, no filter condition. So let's figure out how we can filter the specific rows that we want based off a of certain criteria. So let's say I want to match all entries that have a specific ID of something, right? And we know there's only going to be one entry that has a specific ID because the ID field is a primary key. So we know that two different items can't have uh, the same exact ID. But you'll see one of the more common tasks when it comes to working with databases is uh, retrieving a, a row based off of a specific ID. So, you know, a lot of times our backend will be like, hey, I want you to retrieve the product with an ID of 10. So how do we do that? Easy. We add the keyword where, then we specify the column that we're interested in, uh, that we want to match on. So we're going to use the ID column. And then we say ID equals, and then we pass in the value. It really is that simple. So if I want the ID of, and so if I want to get the product with an ID of 10, I just pass in 10. And remember to make sure you have the semicolon at the end, hit run. And look at that. We've now got our product um, that has the ID of 10. And then keep in mind, just like we did before, we can filter down based off of just the fields we want. So if we want just the ID and the name, we can do that. And it should work just fine. We'll change this back. And run that. And so we got that. Uh, if we want to grab the ID of product with an ID of three, run that. And so now we get the product with an ID of three. But what's nice about this is that we can choose any column to match on. So uh, let's say that uh, I first dump everything so I can just see what I've got. And let's say I want to match on uh, any product that has an inventory of zero. So that's basically saying like, which products do we not have inventory of so that maybe we can place an order? Well, we can just say where. And once again, I'm capitalizing the SQL keywords. And I can say where inventory equals zero. And so now we've got, we've got a list of products where we need to place an order. It really is as simple as that. Now working with numbers, you just place the number. So any column that uses integers or floats or anything like that, you could just say equals that. However, if you want to match based off of name, uh, the name column, it's going to be a little bit different because the name column uses, you know, varying characters or text or, you know, what would be a string in Python. Uh, and so for those, what we have to do is, first of all, we'll use the column name equals, but we have to wrap it in quotes, single quotes to be specific. So if I want to get the uh, prog with, uh, with the name of TV, I have to put in single quotes, search for it. And then now we get that. So keep that in mind, because if you remove the quotes, I believe you should get an error. Yep, and you do get an error. So just make sure when it comes to working with varying characters or any kind of text, you want to wrap it in quotes.